Before we can carry out equilibrium or large angle stability analysis, we need to have a series of load cases defined. Hydromax has an integrated load case editor and that allows us to enter a list of masses and their respective centres of gravity. It's also possible to group together commonly used sets of masses into load groups. So one common example would be the light chip uh, condition with all of the standard loads that are permanently fixed to the vessel. Tanks which have been defined in Hydromax are automatically included in the load case and all we have to do is enter the percentage full in order to define uh, what the total mass is and uh, we'll also demonstrate in a moment how to deal with the free surface effect of any fluids in tanks. The load case can have entries inserted to automatically tabulate totals and subtotals and I'll also show you some display options for colour coding loads and uh, displaying load case masses. Also finally a handy hint if you want to apply a pure moment to your load case then you cannot have a negative mass but it is possible to have a negative quantity so if you add two items, one of which has a quantity of 1 and one of which has a quantity of negative 1, then by setting up your mass and lever appropriately, you can define a pure healing or trimming moment. Let's switch over to Hydromax and take a look at our low case window. I'm in the low case window now and you can see that we have a number of tabs along the bottom for each of the load cases. We can create new load cases from the file menu. The first load case I'm looking at is actually a load group. If I edit the load case, we'll see that the load group option is ticked. That means it's a list of loads that can then be used in the other load cases. So we have here some, some uh, mass items for the hull itself, the superstructure, pieces of large fixed equipment and so forth. If we move across to the next tab under the load case, what we can see is that our previous load ship, which was named load group which was named Lightship LC is now included by name in this load schedule and so its mass is automatically included. We can see here we have a list of uh, subsequent masses here and uh, we have a column here which is uh, labeled total variable loads. Any entry in this list which starts with the word total or subtotal will automatically tabulate the items immediately above it. We can insert any number of uh, empty rows in there just to separate the items and make the table look a little bit better. You can use the commands in the edit menu to add and delete loads, move item, items up and down, uh, add surface areas and also sort items in the list. You can also see in this load case that the tanks defined in this model have automatically been inserted into this load case. This is the departure load case and so their percentage falls are shown here between 80 and 100% full. If I want to change the amount of fluid in those tanks I just need to change the percentage full and the other items will be updated automatically. If I switch over to the arrival load case we'll see the same tanks are automatically entered but different percentage falls have been entered by the user. In the case of tanks we should also be aware that there's potential free surface correction so let's uh, scroll across in this table and we'll see the last two columns are total free surface moment and the type of free surface moment for this particular tank. If we look at the drop downs in this list here we can see we have four different ways of defining the free surface moment. The maximum uses the maximum free surface moment at any sounding through the depth of the tank so it's a worst case scenario for any level of fluid. The actual setting allows us to use the free surface moment calculated from the actual percentage full in this particular load case. The IMO setting computes the free surface moment using a technique defined by the IMO. It's based on a, a rectangular box that's 50% full. And finally you can also define your own user specified free surface moment where just the value that you enter will be used to correct the free surface. When you put in or that they will compute those free surface moments, they'll be added to the free surface correction, which is then added to the adjusted VCG of the design. When we're viewing in these tables, uh, in the view menu, there's a color option so that we can use color coding to color code the masses and also color code the tanks by fluid. So each fluid gets a different color. Uh, each tank at least gets a different color based on its fluid. 
and uh, if we go to a graphical view we have an option here to turn on the display of load case masses so that as we move between different load cases we can see uh, which uh, loads are where in that particular load case. That's a brief introduction to load cases. Thank you for watching.